talk about sleep, baby. Hi everyone, so we are here to talk about baby sleep. Yeah, sleep. <laughs> so, baby sleep. You know Aria hasn't been a great sleeper since she was born and she's kind of continuing with that theme. So I just want to do a little update. I get questions about is she sleeping through, how we settle her, you know, things like that. Um, so oh, I'm really, really annoyed because three weeks ago, the day before she got her sickness bug, she actually slept the whole night. We put her to bed at half past seven and I had to wake her up at half past seven the next morning because I needed to get Sienna to play group and I had to give her breakfast and everything. And I was like, yeah, we've cracked it. I felt like on top of the world. I was like, yes, my baby sleeps through. You know, I'm gonna be able to do my workouts again. I'm not gonna be like a mombi anymore. Uh, that's a mum zombie, if you are unfamiliar with that term. Um, so yeah, I was like, yay, we finally cracked it. And then the day after she got a sickness bug and she has not slept a night since. She is still waking once or twice in the night. So for example, last night she went to bed at seven and then she woke up at 12 and then five. So she's generally going about five hours, which is not too bad, but... <clears throat> You know, I'm still a bit like, when is she going to sleep through, like, this <laughs> nine months of sleep deprivation is really getting to me. And, yeah, I feel like I've tried everything out there to get my baby to sleep. I've watched so many videos, I have read so many articles, I've asked mums, I've asked bloggers and vloggers. I even signed up to this some kind of um, sleep expert that was sending me emails on what to do so I've kind of come to the conclusion that she's just going to sleep through when she sleeps through and there's nothing I can do that's going to change that I've just got to wait patiently until the day she decides she can sleep all night and I think that's generally the same with every baby every baby is different Sienna slept through the whole night half six till seven from 12 weeks old and I don't feel like we did anything to implement that she did it on her own that's just the routine she got into and with Aria it's just totally different and I don't feel like it's our fault I don't feel like it's any parent's fault if your child doesn't sleep I think it's just the child and so I've kind of got to that point where I've kind of given up trying anything I'm just going to wait until it happens because I think that's all you can do so that's kind of my diagnosis on babies not sleeping now and I think next time if I did have another one I wouldn't be so kind of like I don't know I felt with Aria I was so desperate to get her to sleep through the night because people were telling me she should be able to and try this and try that um, I think next time I'd just be way more relaxed and just go with the flow until it happens. I'm not struggling that bad with the lack of sleep now because she is doing those five, sometimes six, sometimes seven hour stretches so it's not horrendous so yeah I'll just patiently wait for the day that she sleeps a whole night and then I will shout it from the rooftops. <laughs> So yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. Let me know what your view on baby sleep is. Do you think do you think you can teach them to sleep or do you think it just kind of happens? That's that the point I am now. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also share with your friends because I'd be really interested to hear what everyone else thinks as well. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!